There's my VFR in the back of the trailer. I'm taking her to get dino tuned. Today's dino day. Dino day at Adrenaline Cycle. So I'm gonna take her there and hopefully they can make her run a lot better. I mean, she runs good now. I have the VFR on the Cozy Map currently. The Cozy Map's like a good general map to use on your bike, but it's it, it's not good enough. At low RPMs, I can feel her stumbling and stuff like that. It's just not perfect. And I do have, I mean, honestly, stock form, these bikes need tuning. My expectations for a dyno tune are for a modest two to three horsepower gain throughout the rev range, a refined VTEC transition that is smooth as butter, and for the bottom and mid range to get smoothed out as well. When I got to Adrenaline Cycles, they had really cool bikes there. Justin Adrenaline Cycles has some seriously awesome bikes that are unique that you just don't see anywhere else. He even had some VFRs of his own, although I will admit his are way cooler than mine. In fact, check this out, he even started up his VFR 400, gear driven cams, 400cc V4, check it out. Unfortunately, I had to leave my VFR 800 overnight at Adrenaline Cycles, but I knew it was in good hands. Goodbye, VFR. It's like leaving your kid at school for the first time. No, I'm sorry, VFR. You'll be running good soon, though. They'll take care of you. They're good guys. Now at first glance, these numbers may not seem like much, with less than 3 peak horsepower gained, however there is a lot more to this dyno sheet than you might think. For instance, take a look at 9500 RPM, we have gained about 5 horsepower right here and here. Actually that whole entire chunk of revs, we have gained about 4-5 to five horsepower all throughout that rev range. But none of that really matters, what really matters is right down here at 6800 RPM where VTEC kicks in. The dip in the blue line that you see right as VTEC kicked in was that violent jerking feeling I would get when I hit VTEC. Now in theory it should be much smoother with that more linear curve. Anyway, it's time to go get the VFR and see how she rides. Okay guys, we are back from Adrenaline Cycles and I have my VFR 800 and we're going to ride this bike and see if the dyno really made a difference, if it runs better. I basically told him I really wanted him to smooth out the VTEC transition, that was my main focus. And I told him if you can add power here or there, that'd be nice too. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic I did back there, that was with my new camera and camera lens. If you guys want to check it out, link in the description. It was a little pricey, but... I think you guys are worth it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on the bike and see what the Dino Tune feels like. I'm excited. Well, of course I already rode it, but I am still excited. I'm always excited to ride this bike, even if it's the hundredth time I've ridden it. Starts up nice and easy now. We're in a pretty quiet neighborhood so I don't want to rip it up too much but we will be getting on it in a second here to show you guys the VTEC transition. So without getting too far into it let's just go over my expectations and I will say they were a little high with the amount of power I'd gained down low. Now I did gain a little bit down low the dyno tune the dyno graph proves that but I didn't gain like I, I thought it'd be a little bit more than that but that was fine it's not a big deal because it's a lot smoother down low now but anyway let's go ahead and hit VTEC and show you that transition like it's almost seamless now like it, it it's nice let's see if we can hit it in first gear Ooh, I kind of screwed up shifting there but I was running out of road but the, uh, yeah, the VTEC transition, like you still feel it, you still feel the power, 
but it no longer jerks you back. It, it's so much smoother now, and I'm very happy about that. Hello, turkey. Power, it's so much smoother now. And in the high revs, above 8,000 RPM, up to redline, it is potent. I mean, the bike pulls like it has never pulled before. It, it's, it, it's crazy. I, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I've even had the bike power wheelie shifted from first to second. I mean, just a little wheelie, but it's like, wow, I never did that before. Um, I haven't done any top speed runs or anything like that, and I don't plan on doing any. I just, I don't care to test that. Uh, the fastest I've had this before, I did the Dino Tune everything, was 154, I think, indicated. Uh, I don't know. It was, the speedo is so off on this bike. That was probably, like, really 140. I, I'm not going to go fast again like that, though. But, man, this bike, I, I, I love this bike. Every time I get on this thing, it's... I just rode the 600 the other day, and I ride this now today, and I'm comparing the two, and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I know the 600 has a lot of sentimental value to me, <laughs> this thing, it, it just, overall, it's such a cool bike, and these bikes, they are the most underrated machines in the entire world, the most underrated. But anyway, back to the dyno video and dyno tune and everything like that. I'm going to be making a video comparing the auto tune versus the dyno tune. That's going to be a separate video. Uh, the dyno tune was not cheap. Um, Adrenaline cycles, they charged me $400, which, ah, that was a lot of money. But, and I knew I could have gotten a cheaper price somewhere else. But, Adrenaline cycles, they were able to, they were really close to my home. It was only like a 10 minute drive, which was nice. So that saved me, I, I was thinking about going like all the way up to the north of Massachusetts because this guy said you do it for 250 bucks, which was a very good price as well. But, then I was thinking, you know, he's like a Harley guy and he's charging 250 bucks. Plus, he said he couldn't get me in to like the like for another two or three months and I'm like holy hell and then and then I said do you have a weekend available and he said oh that's gonna be another two months after that I'm like oh so I have to wait till basically the end of the riding season to get my bike down tuned no thanks sorry <laughs> and plus adrenaline cycles they have racing pedigree you know they build race bikes they have turbo boosas and all kinds of crazy stuff they made fast bikes before guys I'm about to jump on the highway here so it's gonna be really difficult to hear me I hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to leave a like if you want to check out the dyno tune I have it in the description dyno tune and it's free for you to download and try out I have the power commander 5 the Delkovic slip-on exhaust the k and air filter the pair flapper and snorkel mods are done and I have the O2 sensor eliminators so if you have those same mods or similar mods, or even if you don't have those mods, try it out anyway. See what you think. Can't hurt. If you don't like it, remove the thing. Just here's a little note of advice. Sometimes the VTEC transition will actually be kind of rough at, if the bike's cold. Like if it, the VTEC won't turn on unless the bike is at 150 degrees, the operating temperature. But I noticed that if it just reached that 150 and you try it, it will be a little choppy still. So let it warm up, ride it around for a bit, don't get on it right away, and then, you know, test it out. So, alright guys, I'm going to go here, it's going to be really difficult to hear me on this road, so thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and bye bye.